suffocating Heart waiting And always hesitating Grip the night desire Set my heart afire The wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let us take to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd, what is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga in England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon, other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. There's nothing for me here. I must go make my name in the world. have plundered Fornberg's resources, I see. You leave nothing behind but your honor. You left me no choice. I entered the Alving a prince. I left the son of a Jarl. There are always choices, Sigurd. 
I will not stand between you and yours, but I do not accept it. <sighs> Seventeen winters ago, I opened my door to you, Eivor. And now, your only thanks is to rob me. I should have left you to the wolves. Sad old elk. Do not carry his words with you to England. He brought this day upon himself. I know. sacks of wool put some muscle into those pools ration your strength dog we have an ocean to cross all right you lazy back route sigurd what's our course the songs of ragnar established a settlement near the coast we set sail for that Ragi, sing a song to lift up the roads inspire a mighty fart from thor to speed us on our way an ocean lies before us, Eivor, and on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your travels. I spent a season in their kingdom of Mercia, a temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England, glory and destiny. To England, to England, for Valhalla. Electrolytes. Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. Uh. 
How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? You're a long way from home, Eivor. Hmm. I'd rather walk into town than use this. I should do this more often. Relaxing. Another satellite. Someone's got mail. An invitation to a fair in Concord. Bring your best crop and you may win a prize. Tempting. Layla, you can't run away from this. Some quality stuff here. Mm -hmm. Oof, mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How was the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well... Most of North America just lost its GPS service, so it depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. Feeling okay? Better. But I'm worried that it could happen again. The two data streams. I can't promise it won't. I barely understand it myself. It felt like two minds, fighting over one brain. It hurt like a shotgun to the head. Right. There's something about this Viking's DNA sample that feels dense, noisy. Could it be the staff? Interfering somehow? How do you mean? My headaches, my temper. They started the day I got that thing. I hope you're not making excuses for, you know, your friend. Jesus, no. I'm not. Sorry. Just take it easy. And if you feel yourself slipping again, let us know. I'm trying. I really am. Be 
nice to sleep in a real bed when this is over. All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Layla, you okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go and... No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived. I died. And now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the Earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all from another death. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. this land our own soon enough i'm glad to see any land at all and will be happy to have my feet on solid ground again we must not rush our landing all you see here is saxon territory the kingdom of mercia largely unpacified there will be eyes watching us from the trees with bows drawn and traps set we must be wary randy take in your oars all standing have you spotted something not yet well, let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you soon. Say it all. Yes. I'm ready for whatever these green-thumbed fairy folk have to throw at us. Sigurd, do the sons of Ragnar know that we're coming? They do not. Well, they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England... The sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No. No. We will speak with them. Get the lay of the land. And carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there. Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre. We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them, like our sacrifices to Odin, the one-eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him. That is the difference. Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer! Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off. Look there! What are they doing? Ritual drowning. 
baptism, Doug. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to you? Not at all. I simply forgot. And someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? Always. They shape precious metals and cut jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Dag. There will be time enough for raiding once we have settled. Come to stop the boats. Thank Pull up over there. The way forward is blocked by a chain spanning the river. We must remove it before passing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But there must be a way to release it somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Dad. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. should not be seen in this area.
world. I say we go back, Sigurd. Give those dogs a good knock around and take whatever treasures they have. Easy pickings. Not today, Dag. We press on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and ale on hand when we arrive. You should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Ivar Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. <laughs> have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig, tender and juicy, and the ale as gold as the treasures that we steal back there. A man of simple pleasures, aren't you, Dag? And he is happier for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Ready to be... We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick, and ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, dog. The ruins are not a warning, they are a testament. Look there, just ahead, where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last, to find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There's too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find. No. Let us get a closer look. Those are not Norsemen. They're too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot, lest they spot the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a yard. And if they are foes, then we fight them all, together. Who are these men? They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark Eivor! On me! What's this? A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways? You there. Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jars of Fornberg. And you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten those men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakrout, and draw your weapon. Oh! Let's finish them! Kill these heathen bastards! You have what you wish for, Dag. Kill! 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 Oh, shit, it's shit! Oh, 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 shit! Oh,
Surprises. Right. I'll check the longhouse. Nice trap. Might be something inside. I'll have a look. Wait. Who are you? Are you with those big huh? Sigurd! Dag! In here! Those men had prisoners. You. Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli. I'm a merchant, not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses, and, well, I did, till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest bidder. But I wrecked their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the sons of Ragna, at Halstan Yal's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. You know the sons of Ragnar? Aye. Sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? Repeat my stocks. Start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me. But it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable. To keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again. Somewhere. What are you thinking? That we could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Dag? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Janli, Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg, son of Stirbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you.
from strangers into friends into family. The others have arrived. Come. I have a good feeling about this place. Honored family, friends, welcome to your new home. to rival any I've seen. Now come. Ranthi has found something I would like you to see. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here, in this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravensthorpe, the village of ravens. in you sings once again. One day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build, expand. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Good work, my dear. What else have you found? Short notes, most... Not a bad place, Eivor. Not at all. Can I help you with anything? Sigurd wants your forge up and running as soon as possible. For that, we need supplies and riches. Ah, you mean to go a Viking then? Good, good. How I miss those days. Ransacking and pillaging. Blade singing and shield splintering. <laughs> I would ask you to join us, but you are the only blacksmith we have. We cannot afford your loss. Oh, it's no bother. Better I forge axes than swing them. My place is here, not pulling on the war of a river horse. <laughs> Though you do remind me, I've found a map among the bandits' rubbish, marked up with the locations of Saxon monk huts. Yes. Bandits know as well as we do. Monasteries are full of riches and loot. Take the map with you. And put it to better use than they did.
and listen all. For the good of our clan, it is time we go a Viking. Today we raid, that tomorrow we may build. And... Raise the sail here. monasteries like a row of hen's eggs. The Saxons know we are here, though. The monasteries will be well guarded. Ah, by nothing more than priests and prayers, I'd wager. Hold on, good scout. Thank you! Hey, boy, look there. A monastery. We wait! Only save the world. All ashore! Take what you can and be swift about it. Or we slay every last man and take all the time we need. Should we be so lucky? All arms! Find what they hide and take it. And kill those guys! Great. Strike with me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Stronger already. Oh, this is... 
Thor lends me strength. <laughs> this was a good day and some fine work from all of you. We should return home and unload everything. Are you certain there aren't a few more gold nuggets squirreled away somewhere? My gut tells me no. Run up the sail! Strike up a few. What's your count? My count? Dag, I have no need to count my kills. They number too many. Likely story, Wolfkist. Me? I killed 26, I think. Ah, there were barely a dozen when we arrived, dog. No, no, you missed them. They attacked from the forest. We'll pick it. Forge bigger and harder than my old forge back in Fornberg. Come visit me any time. For weapons and gear, there is no man better than me. I will, Gunnar. Have no doubt. A pleasure to see you again, Eivor. May I see your stores? All my pieces are good, but that one's very good. This will serve you well.
That one's pretty good. You like the looks of that one? You are looking powerful. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Put that gear to good use out there. Hytham, now that you and Bassam are settled, what will you do? We have work to do, starting in the cities of England. London, Jorvik, Winchester, all three are infested by members of the same order to which Kyotve belonged. But their reach extends much further than this. Of all the lands on Earth, I believe England is the most overrun. Do they cause here the same turmoil Kyotve caused in Norway? Not just turmoil. They spread a plague of delusion, teaching men and women to abase and abuse themselves in exchange for power. You have strong feelings about this. Of course. This is the sole purpose of the Hidden Ones, to liberate the body and spirit of man from any unnatural shackles. But we have not operated in England for over four centuries. Since the fall of the Roman Empire, the Hidden Ones have not had a presence here. This absence has given the Order of the Ancients ample room to grow and thrive. Our task will not be an easy one, but with a bureau, Basim and I could begin our work. If you have the time and spare resources to build one, we would be most grateful. I will see what I can do. will make a fine space for my work, Eivor. Thank you. Well, if your work benefits us, I will see that you keep it, for as long as you live among us. I believe it will, for we have common cause against our enemy. They have dug their claws deep into England. Eradicate them where they are strongest, and the alliances you seek will be far easier to come by. In London, they now operate without restraint. If you were to eradicate them, the city would be in your debt. I will talk with Ranri about your idea. Get her thoughts. Good. Yet, before you do, there is something else. A gift I wish to share. A gift? I cannot show you here. Will you walk with me? I will. Lead on. Hear heaviness to your breathing, Hytham. Does your wound still trouble you? It does, I'm afraid. There is a pain in my chest for which I have no remedy. Rest easy, then. So long as your mind stays sharp, you will recover. Of course. Though I am reluctant to displease my mentor. You would risk your health and your life to please Basim. That I do not understand. I should not expect you do. When we first arrived, I noted a shadow of suspicion in your eyes. A doubt. A wariness. Is that a question? No. Only an observation. Are you well enough to steer this boat? I am. Have no worry. It is only prolonged stresses that exhaust me. My energy runs low rather quickly. And what is this gift you wish to give me? It will not come from me. It is a gift you must give yourself. More riddles. What fun you are. Let me say it another way. My gift is not for giving or taking. It is a way of living. Well, still no clearer. It is a thing better demonstrated than described. Then I will wait. 
forgive my jest. This gift we call a leap of faith. It is one of our brotherhood's most sacred rites. It is not a tool we use against our enemies, but an act we embrace to strengthen our resolve. Like your meditation, it centers our minds, steadies our hands, and purges fear from our hearts. And more practically, it aids our movements in flight or in stealth. You call it a leap, and we are climbing a rather steep hill. <laughs> there it is again, the shadow of a doubt. Nearly there. Our destination is there. I suspect you mean to throw me from this cliff, is that it? Please tell me if I'm near the mark. And spoil the surprise? To perform the leap of faith, you must give yourself over to something greater. The gods? Yourself. Embrace the hope that death will not come before you are prepared to meet it. Believe this, and you will fear nothing. Our deaths are prefigured, weaved into the fabric of the world. To fear this would be a waste of worry and tears. Good. Then your mind is already attuned to my lesson. I will leap first. On my word, you must follow. Lean into your faith, into your strength, and take flight. You want me to jump from here? Yes. <laughs> I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson, but... Uh... Wait! And watch! Hytham! Hytham! Pig-headed fool! Are you injured? Than... Yeah! A perfect fall. And how did it feel? You spoke true. It was madness and vigor. A purging of fear. A gift I give myself. I see that now. Thank you for showing me the way. Of course. And thank you, Eivor, for hearing me out. You called this leap of faith a sacred rite. Do all Hidden Ones practice this same ritual? As far as I know, it is a rite of initiation that dates back to just before the birth of the Christian Jesus. Are you hoping to initiate me? I might try if I believed you would join. But that is not my purpose in England. Basim and I are hunting larger prey. The Order of Ancients. Yes. You remember the medallion you took from Kyotve's body? That is their symbol. They are a plague. One we hope to purge from this world. Like us, it is secret. But their aim is to rule the world, not free it from unnatural fetters. The desire to rule is not unique to this order. Sigurd and I want the same, a land to call our own, and the honor that comes with it. Do not compare yourself to such people. The order has no honor, no principles, no humanity. Yet they sit on a great many of England's thrones. If you seek to pacify England for the safety of your clan... Then it may be in my interest to give you aid. I understand. You desire alliances. We seek to rid England of its deepening rot. Where these hopes meet, our cause does too. You may think this land ruled by harmless jarls and bumbling thanes. Yet look more closely and you will find a deeper threat. The Order's invisible hand touches all. It shapes everything, instilling its poison into every level of society. From the lowliest fishmonger to the richest merchants, from wealthy thanes to useless kings, the order has corrupted all. Bassam has given me one task here. To locate and eliminate the order of ancients in England, in whatever dark corners they reside. If we work together towards this end, it will benefit us both. You will have greater influence over the kingdoms of England. And you will have more medallions to count. Exactly. You should begin in London. I have credible reports that the Order is working now to seize the city. I will speak with Ranbury about this. And while you are there, be on the lookout for our symbol. 
Centuries ago, the Hidden Ones had bureaus built around England. There were six, I believe. If you can find them, search them well for documents bearing the same symbol. It will greatly aid my studies. I will. Thank you, Hatham. For all of this. In here! What will you keep in this room? My finest weapon. For this room is yours. Here you may lay your head, hang your axe, or be alone with your thoughts. Do you like it? It suits me well. But I would be just as happy lodging with the raiders on that wharf. I need no special treatment. This is not special treatment. I want you here in the longhouse, close at hand. I may be the Jarl of this clan, but you and I lead together, as ever. So get acquainted with your room, and when you're ready, meet me at the stables. A letterbox for messages and requests. Bed better than many I've slept in, and a good place to recover. Hmm. Hmm. Not much, but it is mine. Oh, 
Lord, good to see you. What is it you do here again? Whatever you need for your longship, my husband and I are happy to help. We have quite an eye for these things. But right now, we're more concerned with you building us a place to do our work. Get on that soon, won't you? I'm off. Be well, friend. Goodbye, Eivor. Ready to ride at a moment's notice. Count on it, my friend. The path ahead is bright. With glory at its end. Farewell, Eivor. But, but why now? Dad. What was that about? Is Basim leaving us already? Sigurd means to leave as well. Is that true? We know the sons of Ragnar have camped in the north. It would do us well to pay them a visit, to strengthen our ties to this land. Is that where Basim has gone? Basim's motives are his own. Leave it at that. We have more pressing plans. I am riding to Leicestershire, to a town called Repton. Eivor, I expect you to join me when you have finished here. I can come now. I only need a horse. Not yet. First speak with Randvi. She has more than one task for you here. Apart from growing this settlement, you must seek out alliances as well. We cannot pacify England with so few friends. Then I must join you, Sigurd, for I am a fitter companion on long roads. No, Dag. You belong here with the raiders, and you will act as Eivor commands. Ride in safety, brother. I will follow as soon as I can. Yes, and I will keep our raiders sharp. Was Eivor commands. Is he testing me? He may be. Sigurd is a wise man. I would sooner take orders from a louse. spared just now, but if you can build me something better, I promise you the finest of beasts. A bustling staple would be a great boon here. I will see what I can do. Well, look who it is. Practicing your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Eivor. <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You taught me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson, then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. I'll recall what you taught ere I enter the fray. A fine answer. Perfect rhyme and a lovely cadence to match my line. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Then I will make a fine couplet from out of your skull. Not bad, not bad. The rhyme is there, the sound is good, but... Consider that I said you were silly, and you told me you would kill me. At times, it might be best to remain on theme. Something to consider. Last one. So go, then, and conquer the world with your wit. 
Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I look forward to becoming far more than you can bear. A good rhyme, but a bad structure. Close, you're close. There's still much for you to learn about flighting, but I'm confident you'll pick it up. Happy to help you learn, if you'd like to come back again. Perhaps I will. Thank you, Alvis. wanted to see me. As Sigurd has so ordered, it falls to us to expand our presence in England. He wants to forge alliances. I am clad with every Norse, Dane, and Saxon here. Right. We are the outsiders here. Making friends will help. Where do we start? My scouts come and go daily with interesting news and tidings, and I'm beginning to get my bearings in this fractured land. As I learn more, I can give you insight into each territory before you commit to a journey there. Of course. Once you have gained an ally in a territory, return home and speak to me. We'll decide your next move then. I understand. So, where do we start? You have two options just now. Join Sigurd in Leicestershire to the north and meet with the sons of Ragnar Lothbrok, or head south to Grantebridgeshire to meet an army of Danes led by one Guthrum Jarl and his second, Soma. And what's more, our young friend Hytham has been conferring with contacts of his own in the cities. I added his information to the map, if you would like to know what he has discovered. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me more about Leather Chestershire. I should like to join Sigurd soon. He traveled to a town called Repton, to meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current King of Mercia, with the hope of installing a king of their own. A bold endeavor. I should be there to help, however I can. I think you should. I won't keep them waiting. Good. I will send word to Sigurd and the Ragnarsons, pledging your assistance. If I were you, I would go by ship. Repton is quite a distance north on the River Trent. Like a Jarl. Eivor! 
Good day, Olvis. You return. <laughs> would you like to try again? I would. It may be I'll fare better this time. I believe in you. Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to... It says so... In flighting, it's so... With your teaching, I'm... Mm, no. There are... In it, if I... Then... Uh, so, go, I look... I look... Uh, there, uh, perhaps... Tell me about what you do here. If you need something tattooed, you come here and I do it. And you can bring me whatever designs you come upon too. But of course, no shop, no tattoos. Build something for us when you can, and then we'll get working. I must take my leave. So long. So long. No raising the sail here. Hey, what Sing us you? a song. I thought it'd be still. raise the sail yet.
Let the sail out. Attack on sight here.
how it should work.
Shit! Shit! Careful now.
Sickard should be here with Arachnesons. Who stands before Eva Ragnarsson? Are you Sigurd Drenger? Igor! Eivor! Keep that up. We'll stay in the floors. The place could use some color. <laughs> Who are they? All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Got feisty. Pitchfork. From this rabid little one. Was a time when you... Met and slew your enemy on the field before they could dream of things like sending fires. Now we shake hands and make deals. Not my thing. I figured. I love them whipped, weeping, and reeking of piss. Hey! Good boy. You're free, Saxon piggy. To run amok to the Mercian fields. I would have let him down easy. Follow me. I'll give you the tour. What do you call this place? I call it the shithole. To the Mercians, it is Repton. Their most revered kings are buried below the church. Imagine their weeping when we drove them out. You planted your knife deep into the heart of this kingdom. That is right. We've got a number of Saxon nobles lined up to my lips puckered, ready to kiss our asses. The only holdout is King Burgred and his war thane, Leofrid. But my brother is brewing a plan to deal with them. I take it that's where we'll find my brother. Right. Talkers they are, Uba and Sigurd. Might want to dig the wax from your ears. me for a fool, Abba. I, I'm not going anywhere, Bakrat. You have the king on his heels because of me. Because of my men. For which you were paid. But that price does not change because you have caught a whiff of our hex silver hoard. You forget I am a sellsword. I ask what I please, and I take what I'm owed. If I wanted to hear you talk shit, I'd gouge out your tongue and shove it up your ass. Now fuck off. Hacking over silver is a bad look for the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. But worry not, Uba. I have the warriors you need. If this is one of them, my worries have vanished. Eivor, wolf kissed. You have come at just the right time. Uba and Eivor here are hunting a king. And when we caught him, we mean to crown another. Our dear Thane Shell Wolf here. It's not a role I begged for, but it's what Mercia needs just now. A man to fairly rule both Saxons and Danes. Do you have what it takes to be king? One day, I hope. 
As it stands, we at least have an understanding. The king has refused our offers of peace. Jail Wolf means to change that. There'll be a new king for a new England. For now, Burgred is holed up in his fortress at Tamworth, making a final stand. Another shithole, only further south. We've held a siege there for weeks to no effect. So, no more knocking. Now we batter the gate to splinters. If we take Tamworth, remove Burgred and crown Shalewolf, come morning this Shire is ours. And Mercia soon after. Yes, remove. I cannot stress that enough. Burgred is not to be harmed. My legitimacy as king hangs on this one simple fact. Uh, you rob all the joy from war, Saxon. Not every victory needs to be marked by the slaughter of a king. Ah, but it is much better. His request is fair, Ivar, and we will honor it. This is a good plan, brother. I'm ready for the coming fight. Agreed. Yet remember this. Whatever you stand to gain here, so do we. An alliance between my clan and Mercia's crown. See this man installed on his throne and you will have it. I swear. The bold sons of Ragnar bellow to sound the spear din and the thunder of shields. So let fall the arrow storm. The battle begins. Ah, you never said this one was a poet. I need to piss. We have a forward camp just north of Tamworth. Will you go with us? Lead the way. Take in the sights of Repton if you like. We will be at the docks when you are ready to go. I'm glad you and your brother have come. If only to bring some measure of calm. Ease yourself, Geowulf. We all stand to benefit, and you'll be remembered for this for years to come. For all the wrong reasons, I fear. A lively town. Quite a lot to see here.
goes there. Always good to have. These will come in very handy. This could come in very handy. One of my better pieces. It's just your style. I can always use more of that. to see you again soon. You should always be fully stocked. Leaving already? Shame. I have to go. See you soon. to the gates of Tamworth will flood the fields and put a great shot. Eivor, is your axe sharpened? I'm ready for the spear din. And the thunder of shields. Yes. It's good to have you with us. To fight beside such legends is an honor. I've only heard tales of your conquests. Now I get to live them. We'll weave our sagas together. Thread upon thread. Come on, boy. We'll forge a man from your softness, hammered on the anvil of war. Not need to fight to be Move! A... Move! Calm, Ivar. The fight's not here. Aye. The fight is nowhere to be found in this boy. A boy who happens to be Chilwolf's son. Why is he not in his quarters? Our future king wants a battle-hardened heir. Time he proves his worth, don't you think? Not yet crowned king and already grooming his successor. That shows some boldness. Right. And bold kings need bolder sons. Ivar! He comes with us. And should anything happen to this little sprout, I will bear the punishment our future king inflicts. He'll want to remove your head. Ha <laughs> ha, you hear that, boy? You die and I'll have to kill your father too. Mount up, Eivor. It's a long ride to Tamworth. You have 
Oh, no. Door, my brother. He always finds new ways to humor himself. I'll keep that in mind. And both eyes open. You smell that, Chailbert? The stink of jealousy of our budding friendship, I think. What is Chailwolf's son doing in Repton at all? It's Chailwolf's way of proving his loyalty. And there's no safer place for a traitor and his son than the middle of a pack of Danes. Safe from who? You and Ivar seem to have brought this Shire to hell. Fields are with us, the common folk. But Burgred still has his soldiers all over Mercia. They're devoted to him, and they'll die defending him. Your voice, Eivor. You sound different than the brothers. Good ear, Lord. I cannot tell the difference. Not all Danes are Danes. From where do you come, if I may ask? North of the Danelands. A place called Thornburg in Norway. I didn't know there was land north of there. What are the people like? You ever see a herd of sheep follow each other off the edge of a cliff? They're like that. The ones who remained, anyway. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> was this a mass exodus from Norway, then? It was. Norway is now the province of a young king, Harald by name. A boy wise beyond his years. Are you not angry that he has displaced you and so many others? I was, for a time. But our weeks at sea have softened my brow fire. If I am honest, I realize I quite admire King Harald, by words and by weapons both. He has pacified the country I call home. For the first time in any man's memory, or any scold's song, Norway has one king. Just one. And that is quite a feat. That is impressive, truly. England is half the size of Norway, and yet we have four kings for our four kingdoms. You see? How could I not be impressed? No, Harald is a good man with grand ideas. I can see that now. I am only six years his junior and have yet to see my first battle. I cannot imagine the skill and cunning he has. Your first battle is coming, young Gilbert. From this day on, you may see rapid progress. I'm not sure I want so swift a rise. of my anger. Not King Harold. My father gifted my birthright to Harold without my consent or knowledge. As easily as if he might hand over a battle of me. It was not merely a deception. It was a betrayal of trust. The prick of which still stings me. Be it a blessing or a curse, family is always first. A good line, boy. Were you not an Adeling, I would hire you as my scold. Scold? It sounds something like Scott. Our court poets. Is that what you mean? Right again. Fascinating. The harmony between our words and yours is quite something. As if we were distant cousins, separated by an ocean of time as well as space. <laughs> I like the thought of that. I do. Guards here are vigilant. Look at these pagan rats. Ravenous, unseemly beasts teeming over holy ground. Have a care, Lord. 
These pagan rats outnumber us. I can see that, fool. What do we do about them? I advise we strongly consider their demands, Lord. We won't survive a fight. Is that you, Leofred? How quickly you recover! I'm beginning to wonder if it is a man or a god beneath all that armor. A man of God stands before you, Eva. Proud and resolute. That's Burgred's war thing. Killed a dozen of our men in an ambush along the River Trent. It was Ivar's axe that stopped him. That is a poor description of a perfect 30-yard toss. Enough jawing, heathens! Speak your peace! We've come for your crown, Lord. With or without your head attached. Ha, I admire your ambition, pagan. But what you ask is impossible. No Dane ever has or ever will occupy Mercia's sacred throne. The Ragnarsons are the least of your worries, Burgred. The Raven Clan now sits upon your southern border. And who might you be? Eivor, here with Sigurd Jarl. We're friends to these men and foes to you. Well, you've chosen your friends poorly. Now that's to be expected of a low-born Dane. My king, may I suggest a more measured approach to this? I grow weary of this palaver. You have trampled our lands, toppled our monuments. We've given you silver, fed your people. And yet in spite of all this, your encroachment on my kingdom continues. No more! We will die defending what is ours, whatsoever the cost. If you want my crown, Uber Ragnarsson, you must pry it from the hands of my bloodless corpse. Man the walls! Back to the camp. Round up the men. We're taking Tamworth tonight! Eivor, tell the captain we're ready to march. Eivor and I will round up the men. Oh. You know your way around a battering ram. Now, I've seen them in action. I want you at the helm of ours. You're strong and agile. I'll be there. As will I. Rattling skulls, rattle these bones instead, eh? First one to Borgred gets to string him up by his dangly man wattle, then jab him in his fat head. Let's get through these walls first, Ivar. Care to test your skill at all? Who are you? I'm with the Ragnarsons. It's time to roll out the battering ram. Birgred wanted to fight. Now we'll give him one. Are you ready to march now? Let's go. It's time to capture a kingdom. What are we going to do about him? Jailbird. Something wrong? I know these men, Eivor. I've supped with them. Not two weeks ago, Leofrith showed me how to wield a greatsword. He's a friend. Friendships end. Often at the point of a spear. It cannot be that cold. Least of all with Leofrith. He is only following orders. When the march begins, find an empty tent and stay there. Do not think me a coward. I am not afraid of war. 
I do not want to kill my friends. There's no other way. Fight or hide. It's up to you.
It's over, Burgred. Lay down your weapons and surrender. Take three men and search the rear. Look around. See what you can find. I'll send for Chael Wolf. Tell him we found a throne. We were short one appling. Where was the son of our king? Jailbird was around. Maybe you missed him. Your lies are just like you, before. big and bold. Seems Leofri is at odds with his king, but bound to duty. A loyal man. Burkret called for help, enlisted the aid of powerful men. But who are these warriors he speaks of? Ivar, I found a letter. There's a symbol here. Your men have any luck? Nothing. You? 
This, do you know that symbol? Tana's sigil. It seems she's been dealing with Burgred as well. The wretch. She was the mercenary barking at you in Repton, yes? She's playing both sides of this war. She could have told him anything. Sold him secrets about me, about Repton, our plans. Why bother with all this pageantry? Fashion a new crown and stick it on your melon. There you have it, you're the new king. That is not how it works. Not in Mercia. We are wasting time. Tana is our only lead. We talk to her. Find out what she knows. I would sooner launch my face into my axe than face her. That might improve her impression of you. We have the same father, Eivor. But his mother was a sow. Meet us at Tona's camp when you're finished here. And bring your patience. And your axe! Eivor, a word, if you would. Go, I'll catch up. I will join the brothers, Eivor. Meet us at Tonus. My son told me what happened earlier, with Ivar pressuring him to fight. He said you intervened. You would be mourning your son if I hadn't. <laughs> He's not a fighter. No, but he should be. By trial or by training. He'll come around in time. Keep him from Ivar if you can. He's the furthest thing from a mentor. Tanner's clan has settled. Fenris, Ted, wait for ink!
Hello and welcome. You never know when this might come in handy. of you to stock up. This could help you in your travels. You would look very striking with this. will be perfect for someone else. Finish looking around. I will see you later, friend. I told you we need to set fire to the house so the raid feels real. I didn't forget it. You said you would bring it. Ah, you fool. Must please do not distract us. We're trying to solve a problem here. 
We need fire to set the house ablaze. Think, think. How could you forget the torch? I told you we need to set fire to the house. So the... Look, this stranger has helped us. Come here, Sprout. are you? You wanted fire. There you have it. Though I get the sense you two are ill fit for whatever it is you're plotting. <laughs> this one takes us for a fool, brother. We sons of Ragnar have this well under control. No, we do not. Sons of Ragnar? I know of many, but never have I heard of Dol and Dollar. What is your plan here? We set up that abandoned house to practice a raid. Build it with our most precious things to up the stakes. Even master raiders such as we need to stay sharp, brother. You better hurry. Yes, for glory. Please come with. I do not want to do this with my brother alone. This raid will harden our legacy, brother. Clans will come crawling, begging us to join them. Our names will echo in the halls of Valhalla. And worry not, Spudding Sprout. Together, we will grow you into a fine warrior. I get the feeling we haven't much to teach you. Go on, brother. Like we talked about. Blow these doors in like a punishing door. Stand back, Sprout, and observe. You may learn a thing or two. I am excited. You must hear it in my voice. What is wrong? The door is not opening. Use the key. Ah, yes. Uh, uh... Where did I put it? God, Mother's axe. It is inside. Please, stranger, you must get it back for us. Find a way in. Ugh, dull and duller, like I said. I do not see it here! No, no, we said to hide it in the camp, remember? Who wants to do it? Not me! Wrong again! Focus! This must be the key to the door. Oh, they get it, fools! I am unharmed, which makes you very lucky. Smart, you mean? I must have taken Mother's axe out of the house, knowing this fool would forget it. And left the key in its place. You two are as useful as a glass hammer. I'm leaving. Do not listen to that drivel, brother. We must endure. The world will know us by name soon enough.
not going to end well. Just keep your wits about you. Call me, man. Me and Ava... Say good. Is there a problem? We'll go see Tomna. Just the two of us. Eva and Oba will wait here. Better if Tomna thinks we've come alone. The truth is, I don't think any of us can stop Eva from cleaving her head open. It's all he was spewing the whole way over here. Right. Shall we? We'll return shortly. A small fortune for whoever sent Tona to hell. I'll hold you to that. From what I overheard in Repton, the brothers had an arrangement with Tona. What happened? From what I overheard in Repton, the brothers had an arrangement with Tona. What happened? She's a mercenary. Uba used her for man and information. But that relationship soured now that Burgret is all but defeated. From what I heard, Tana has hunger for two things. Soft silver and a stern hunt. Neither of which earns you true loyalty. If she can't be trusted, what use is she? That is for us to find out. We may be able to satisfy her. And if we can't? Eva did tell you to bring her axe. And here they are, as expected. If she takes a liking to you, keep talking. She's more your type, I think. Sigurd, what brings you strolling into my camp this brisk day? I suspect you already know. Yes. <laughs> the embers on the air betray you. And yet, if you are here talking to me, King Burgeret remains at large. And who are you, lovely dove? Want to perch your ass on my lap? That's not why I'm here. Where is King Burgeret? That is what you want. And what makes you think I have the slightest idea? We found letters. Records of trade. The two of you have a history. What can I say? The king pays well for my services. If only I could say the same for those two Ragnarsson plots. You're dealing with me now. And I want to know what you know. Name your price. Very well. I could use another cow. And you can cover the cost. You take me for a fool. I take you for desperate beggars. I can smell it on you like dung heap. Now that's my price. What say you? You heard me the first time. But I'll get what I need, one way or another. No, no. You have shut your chance. And if you show your faces around here once more, I will tear you limb from limb. Well, that is not the result I was hoping for. I hope you have another idea. Tona keeps a close eye on whoever she deals with. If Berkford is keeping records, so is she. Somewhere behind those walls. See what you can find. I'll go back to the brothers. Keep those gates locked. If they come within a foot of here, kill them! Something useful there. The other side must be barred. Hey now. No way out of here, lovely dove. Now I'm going to make you regret it. I am taking your head back to the Ragnarsons. That'll teach them to cross me. Clever. Let's see what secrets you keep, Tona. This might be something. Looks like Burgred once paid Tona to steer the Ragnarsons away from two areas. Burgred's private haunts, perhaps. He could be at either one. Shouldn't have been so greedy, Tona. Right. Back to the brothers. Thank <laughs> you. 
going on. What's going on?
Show me what lies ahead. I should be cautious around here.
This area is off limits. Eivor, tell us you learned something. Letter Chester and Templebroth fought. What do you know about them? Hmm. Letter Chester is a large village. And Templebroch, it's an old military fort. Not much else. Burkrecht could be at either one. We should check both. As soon as possible. And what do we do with Tona? I would bet the sweat off my sack she's writing to Burkrecht now, offering silver for a warning about us. You won't be seeing her again. Not unless you're bound for Helheim. I'll collect now, if you don't mind. Ah, this one takes after me, brother. We should get moving, Drinkit. I can take the fortress of Templebroch. I will join you, Sigurd. That leaves me Ledderchester, then. All by my fucking lonesome. Bring a friend, brother. Maybe Eivor dares to be called that. Go on ahead. I'll catch up with all of you soon.
Just raise my hood here. We would have stormed the place without you. What have you seen? Soldiers aplenty, wagons going in and out. That weasel Borgred is here, I'm sure of it. The bathhouse there and that church, see? I sent a scout to check them both. Should be back at any moment now. Did you see Uba and Sigurd in Templarbrach? No. And if Borgred is hiding here, I won't have to. There is a lot we would not have to do if we stuck to killing kings. Thanks to my brother, now we are into making them. No small tension between you two. Thought you'd be more like-minded. You and Sigurd, you always see eye to eye? More often than not. You are still young. You live to my age, and you will see, the closer you get, the greater the stink that rises. 
Time's up for your scout, I'd say. He's either dead or run off. Give him a chance. Can't risk them seeing us and Burkhardt slipping away again. You stay here and wait for your scout. I'm going in. heavily guarded. Have you lost your mind? I feared you were one of them. Keep quiet. 
What are you doing here? I'm... I was looking for Burgred. You are you a scout? I hoped I might find Burgred myself and talk him into surrendering. But he's not in Leatherchester. How can you be sure? Leofrith passed this way with some men. I eavesdropped. It seems they're only stockpiling food here. But he did say something of interest. Gave orders to send more men to Burgred's wife, the Lady Arvils with. She's in Templebroch. She would know where Burgred's hiding. The sounds of battle, Eva. Let's let's get you out of here now. Where are you going? I know my way around. We'll go through the market. This way. Stay close to me. What? What do I do? Fight, man! Fight! Are you hurt? Speak up. I... I don't think so. My God. I didn't want it to come to this. They would have killed you, Gilbert. You had no choice. Now don't move. I'll be back. Where is your king, Saxon? Where is he? Lord our Father, grant me salvation. <laughs> When does their god find the time to answer so much mumbling and whimpering? You are reckless, Ivar. Jailbird could have been killed. Who am I to stand in the light of a boy searching for his boss? Don't excuse yourself. You enjoy this too much. Stop. It wasn't Ivar who sent me. I sent myself. Have caution, boy. Until your father is crowned, you are Mercia's enemy, not its champion. You understand? I understand. Good. Now return to Repton and remain there until we call. Will you not stay, Wolfkist? There is no king, but we have corpses to loot. Burkrit's Lady Athelswith is in Temple of Broth. I'm going to find out what she knows. Yeah. <laughs> 
my battle kennings have worn thin. I am no longer the reed among shields, the glimmer blood, the hallowed skull crack. The scourge of swan roads. The iron throng. The lender of silver gouds. I only wish to be a freebooter. Someone who writes their own destiny. Be glad you head to Valhalla with a poem on your lips. Best not to draw attention here.
raiding is the surest way to find treasures and supplies for building up our settlement. Mast up! Yeah. Take the mast down. Yeah. Set the mast up! Yeah. Yeah. More sail! Continue later. See you, old friend. Back 
to the ship! Feel great. We need to row our way out. Hush now.
Hey, come here a moment. Better than your tight-lipped man here. He'll never say anything again. We've told you everything. Won't you let us go? That depends on what happens here. Aver, there you are. What's with the prisoners?
Oh, oh, oh. 